I just wanted to make a video about this uh, stepper uh, from extruder stepper skipping. You can see here the problems. The stepper motor is skipping, the line is skipping, and it's uh, it's a very simple solution. Uh, there is a blockage in the in the nozzle area, so I have made uh, a modification. You look at this. Uh, usually the the cable co uh, goes all the way up to the nozzle like this and right here is the problem where the skipping occurs where, where the blockage occurs so to avoid that to prevent that I have made a simple modification you can see I have uh, moved this back here and I made an insert it's a copper insert it is a simple copper insert I have made it from a you can make it from a nozzle for co2 welder it, these are I don't know few cents a piece I don't know you can buy it at the hardware store so I have just drilled a hole through the hole a little bit bigger than the size of the filament and uh, on the other side I have made a simple nest for the for the cable you can see so it fits like this it's not any it doesn't have to be pretty or something like that you just have to uh, fit inside you can make it with a wider nozzle so it fits or, or, or uh, you can wrap it around with Teflon tape or something like that so it goes up to here and this part leans on the nozzle so you will tighten this so this part gets tightened with this thread in the hot end uh, previously to uh, installing these parts you need to install the nozzle so you you check the correct height for this piece of tubing and uh, you insert this piece up on the tube and you tighten it down with this screw not too much but just to press a little bit on the tube so you get a good so you don't don't have the gap on here between the nozzle and the tube and that's that's the that's the very simple solution this this part is the only thing that you have to make so i again i say again uh, you can use these nozzles or something like that or copper uh, copper or brass or aluminium rod or something like that that you have laying laying around or so you will see an example now you can see it is really nice it's it's uh, the feed is 160 percent so it is uh, it is uh, faster than uh, the normal feed or I have a better example here from my other models featured on my site you can see here if I can focus this why well, it's not focusing I don't know fucking camera so this was you can see the poor layer adhesion between the layers and there are a lot of blobs and stringing and it is all solved just with with the with the hot tip modification that i have mentioned before so this is the end result of the of the modification you can see here 
the lines are perfect except for the Z seam. It's uh, it's the seam. I, I use this option on the on the round part, so it's it's easier easier to clean up. But overall, this has been printed uh, on uh, on feed rate uh, at uh, 160, 170 percent, and this one has been printed on the feed rate of 100 percent or even less. As you can see, it it is it is really nasty. The 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 extruder couldn't keep up with the with the demand of the of the uh, the model of the geometry that has been made the the G code. So th there is a lot of uh, material missing between the layers, and this is the the crusty solution. So it's it's a really fucking uh, simple solution. You just need to make a piece like this and it will save you a lot of time trying to buy uh, dual gear extruders or direct uh, drive extruders or something like that so it's like few cents of material and your your prints would be would be great again so it is it is a really really simple solution okay that's that's all for now see you again on the next video